What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, we are reading through YouTube comments and answering some of y'all's questions. We got the Dream Team coming on to a Zoom meeting and we are gonna discuss today an important topic. Where do I put my center speaker with an ultra short throw projector? You guys know that we have been really getting a lot of requests for ultra short throw and Kellen is actually shooting out all of the industry leading ones. I'm talking everything. I sent him over uh, LG, Samsung, Epson, Vava, everything. So not only are we giving you all that content, but we're gonna make a video today discussing where to put that center speaker, because it's a huge question. Now, if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, reach out and show your support. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, let's get into this video. All right, guys, we are now on the meeting with that home theater dude, Chris and Kellen yeah. with Dream Media. And today we're gonna to be discussing where to put your center speaker in an ultra short row projector setup. We know that the center speaker is the most important speaker in the system. That's where your dialogue's coming out of, the, the clarity and your high frequency voice. Like we want that line of sight, right? But if you have an ultra short row setup, what do you do? So I'm gonna pass this over to Chris and he's gonna tell you what's up. Yeah, so a couple of things that I've noticed with the ultra short throw projectors that I've personally had my hands on is that the audio isn't necessarily the best. So even then, um, I, I, I've talked to a couple of these manufacturers and they even recommend that, you know, you go with a, a kind of an external type of audio interface. So whether it be, you know, a traditional 5.1, whether it be a wireless soundbar or just anything like that, it's going to help enhance your overall experience. With that ultra short throw projector because you you know you're getting a hundred inch screen you're getting a 120 inch image and it definitely serves a purpose to have sound that's equally as big and immersive so what i've done um and i've noticed that you can put your sound bar in front of your ultra short throw projector so basically just instead of having it to where it is right on top of it you know sitting on top messing with the beam that's going to be reflecting on your image you can put it just in front if you have a wide enough space or a deep enough space, you can do that as well. I've had really good success with that. And if you wanted to do a sound bar, you can also put it right below the screen. So basically mount it on the wall. So then that way, you know, you still get, you know, you're not your nice experience and you can have a wireless type of application. So if you want to do like something like Sonos, that works perfectly for this, this scenario. Its footprint is really small and it's, it's really uh, shallow too. So it's not going to interfere too much with the image if depending on the depth that you put or the height that you put it below the screen. And then you can just pair it with your wireless subwoofer and your wireless uh, surround speaker. So that's gonna help out as well. Uh, I think that the challenge really comes into play is whenever you want to do a traditional 5.1 or kind of incorporate it into a home theater environment, that's whenever you can kind of run the dance of you know doing an acoustically transparent screen that does have ultra short throw um, capabilities. And that's kind of tough. Because what I've seen in my experience is you usually get two perks per screen and you don't get three. So if you want ultra short throw, you can't get ALR. Or if you want ultra short throw, you can't get acoustically transparent. You can get ALR though. So that's going to be your two. Now, I have seen one screen manufacturer that actually makes a screen that isn't necessarily ALR, but it's ultra short throw and it's acoustically transparent. So that could help out with some of those. And that's going to be the Stewart. Studio Tech 100, and that one is their ultra short throw material that kind of does double duties. It's a reference grade um, theater screen, as well as it, it is capable of doing ultra short throw capabilities. What do you think, Kellen? No, I, uh, I, I agree. You know, if you can, you're going to have some distance. It's not like the ultra short throw projector is setting on top of the table and then your screen is inches. You're going to, the ones that I've, I'm testing out now, currently all pretty much have the same trajectory and throw, which is around that 17 inches. Um, so that, that leaves you plenty of room to do an in-wall speaker. Um, you know, there's some thought that needs to go into that, you know, uh, ahead of time with the pre-wiring and making sure that it is lined up in the correct location. Um, but there is room to mount a, a speaker uh, below the ultra short throw screen. 
if the footprint is small enough, you know, the trajectory of the light's not hitting the bottom of the speaker. Now, if you do have a traditional center channel speaker, um, you know, there, there's furniture out there. Uh, Salamander makes a great uh, AV cabinet that houses the ultra short throw projector. Um, and, and it can do two ways. So the projector can recess below the top of the cabinet. You can set your center channel uh, on top as long as it's not blocking the lens. Maybe a little difficult depending on how deep uh, the, the speaker is, but they also have a middle column of that uh, piece of furniture where you can put that center channel speaker inside and it has some acoustically transparent fabric, like a speaker, speaker grill cloth um, that sets inside that cabinet. It nice, looks clean. You still get all of that big sound from the center channel. Is it gonna be you know, closer or, or lower than ear height? Yes, but um, you know, there's a give and take when, when you're trying to do some bigger sound with the ultra short throws. So it's just, if you have the room and the, and the speaker works, you, can, you definitely have the space to mount it underneath the screen. If not, you can get creative, put it on some furniture or some shelving below the uh, ultra short throw projector. Yeah, so guys, uh, we hope that these videos that we're creating right now are giving you guys some inspiration as to what you can do in your own setup. But at the end of the day, we specialize in this and our audio video consultants would be happy to discuss at no cost a solution that will fit your exact needs and budget, whether it is a piece of furniture or it's doing the proper planning for a true in-wall center speaker that lines up with your framing, has the pre-wiring in place, or if you want it completely hidden and you want to put that speaker behind an acoustically transparent um, screen, and you know we have solutions. There's going to be pros and cons to everything, price, performance, and that's what we're here for. So just reach out and we'll be happy to discuss all of the options specifically tailored to your exact space. That is a wrap on where to put your center speaker with an ultra short throw projector setup. You guys know that we are on a journey to deliver the best experience to our customers and put a home theater into every single house in America. And ultra short throw is a really cool product because now we can put a theater into your living room. So if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and share your support. This may not be the solution for you, but believe me, we do have something. We have a free consultation service and we'll walk you through all the different options available and find something that fits your needs and budget. All right, guys, if you would like to purchase, reach out and share your support. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.